Hello everyone, today we're having our first look at Stats 2, which just got released. And I know I haven't covered Game Creator 2 all that much yet. And honestly, that's mostly because while it's still in beta and doesn't have that many modules, it's a lot harder to do cool videos compared to what I did with Game Creator 1 and all of its modules. It is, however, becoming increasingly interesting to cover it with new modules releasing. And as you can see in this short video I made, you can do quite a lot with just the core. Now add stats 2 to the mix and we can do quite a lot of cool things already. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. So we'll be using the same uh, scene I um, quickly made for that video um, to you know, show some of the new things in uh, stats. Now obviously, um, compared to Game Creator 1, there's a lot less modules and one of the nice things with Melee was the ability to just, you know, focus, um, same with Shooter, on um, enemies. And we can actually do that with Game Creator 2, just the core. Um, so, you know, basically a couple of actions and we have our uh, our melee focus um, in here. So, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. We um, can turn it off as well, of course, and we'll just pivot. Um, so this actually helps uh, casting the spells, because otherwise it would always miss. And as you can see, we can have some cool effects. Now, I'm doing a poison effect on this enemy, and I'm going to go a bit closer just so we can actually see some of the new things as well, like um, damage values, so we have these little numbers floating around, um, which is pretty awesome. I do apologize for the effects not looking amazing. I, uh, I'm using HDRP for this project, so I had to convert all of the materials and play around with them a bit so it would actually work. Now, first things first, um, one of the things that has really changed with Stats 2 compared to Stats 1 is that we now have traits. And uh, traits are basically based on, uh, on classes, um, and I'll dive into that a bit. But as you can see, um, we have our attributes, so health, um, magic, and stamina. Then when we have a look at this character, um, well, he has no more health, but his base value is actually 100. Um, his mana value is 20 and his stamina is a hundred and they're using the same attributes so no longer creating duplicates of attributes just to have you know different health values for different types of characters um, and it's incredibly easy to set up once you create your project as well all you really have to do is um, you know select your character and let me remove this add the traits component and then drop in a class so you know for the player I had mage and then suddenly we have all of these values which is you know obviously really cool so this is one of the the new things here is that we have um, classes and these classes basically um, well, just like I showed you, allow you to have different values for different characters without having to create additional attributes. So as you can see, we only have one attribute for health, um, one attribute for mana, and one attribute for stamina. And we're able to have different values for all of these, um, you know, for each class. And that's, you know, in a, in a nutshell, the, the best new change um, in stats 2 is that it actually allows you to easily set up multiple classes of characters um, with only one set of attributes for all of them no longer having to create multiple uh, it's going to save a lot of time but obviously it's just going to be a lot easier when setting up your game as well all you have to do different types of characters just drop in uh, a different class and you're done now just like before um, all of these uh, attributes uh, still rely on stats as well so when we have a look at our stats um, they're based on um, HP so max HP for um, for the night um, you know is set at 1 and if we have a look for example at the player class so let's switch back to mage and max AP HP is 0 0.5 and this is our really easy way to basically create new classes with just having the same stats and attributes for all of them and that's literally all you have to change so just create a new class um, drop in all of the same stats and attributes and then simply change the stat values and we're done and yeah 
you know, I will be honest, this is really cool. It's going to save loads and loads of time, and I'm pretty happy with that. But this is not the only thing I'm really happy with. Um, as you can see, we're no longer doing this in a preference window. There's no preference window. We're doing this all just on different files. And the nice thing here is that if, for example, I would share um, some classes I made myself with some custom attributes, some custom stats, it would not overwrite anything you have in your current project. So yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely one of the best things. Um, obviously for my easy template kit, this is going to be absolutely amazing. So you know, you can just load it in into a new project and nothing will overwrite. And that's definitely one of the things I personally am really happy with. So other than um, this really um, big change in terms of simplicity, um, at its core, you know, stats two is just like stats one it's a module for stats. I mean, there's, you know, there's not that much that can be said about it other than that. Yes, the classes system has made it tons better. Um, yes, not being able, having to overwrite files is, you know, loads better as well. And not having to create duplicate attributes basically for every different character is, um, you know, really nice as well. But other than that, you know, stats is stats. When we have a look at the examples, for example, um, we can do some cool things. Um, let's have a look here. Um, so when we have a look, for example, at the core combat formulas one, um, yes, we can see that the uh, the actual examples have loads built in, and that's really nice. Um, it's going to be a really um, you know really good template to basically have a look at. So we have our stat bars. Um, you know we can gain experience, level up. As I mentioned, you know. Pardon the purple. Um, we can add uh, attack values, and yeah, you know, it's it's. I mean, it's really cool. It's really complete. And when we have a look at the stats, um, we have everything here as well. So a complete stats window with all of the stats that are included. And you know, this is this is really cool. It's it's made really. Uh, it's made to be really simple. Um, personally, I'm going to be really happy to be able to use this for, um, you know, for some of my games because it is going to make setup of a game a lot easier than Stats 2 did it because um, these classes do really change how you're actually going to be using this um, and personally I'm really happy with that because it's, you know, it's going to make things a lot easier um, in setup. So yeah, really cool. Um, I know this was quite brief, but honestly, you know, stats are stats. Um, it's not going to be all that exciting. It is completely necessary and having it being made so much easier, obviously, is really important. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to be able to use this quite a bit more. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.